Okay, I just wanted to put a quick update. I pulled piston number two out. As you can see, this is not good. The upper ring is fractured in several places. I don't, I'm not even sure what would cause this, but you can see the ring is piled up and broken off in here. I don't, I don't know, that, that might be some sort of hot spot. I was thinking that might be as a result of a piece of the um, bore camera f falling off. But now I'm not so sure. It's possible that's the remnants of it right there. And it created a hot spot which went to town. But uh, that seems a little, like a little bit of a stretch. I'm starting to wonder if maybe now there was just some sort of failure in the, in the, the piston or the rings which spiraled out of control. However, you can see those little indents look suspiciously like they're a little round piece. So it's really hard to say. Interestingly enough, the oil control ring is totally free. And I wonder if that's on account of putting barium MB12 chem tool and so forth into the, into the motor. I was expecting to see the oil control ring gummed up and stuck in place but it's actually moving free now i have yet to pull the rest of the pistons out also you can see my my bearings are a little worse for wear here this one's starting to get down to the copper area i thought i was not going to have to replace the bearings or do anything but this is rapidly turning into a full short block rebuild so I'm going to pull the rest of the pistons out. Like I said in, in the other video, I'm just happy I was able to salvage the head, uh, aside from a few little mild spots there. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out what the next course of action is. I'm going to pull the rest of the pistons out. This is the one I was most worried about. Uh, I just wanted to put a little update on the channel since I, I was able to get this out. Um, Unfortunately, we, I, we don't really have a lot of good machine shops left in our town that I know of. Uh, certainly none that I've used recently. I called the one that I had used on some of my Datsun motors, but uh, they don't seem to be set up for boring blocks. So I'm going to have to venture a little further out and see what I can find. But uh, yeah, that definitely accounts for the lack of compression there. I personally have never seen anything like this on on a piston, so I, I couldn't couldn't say for sure what caused that. Did something? Did I drop something in the motor, or was there just a failure that produced a hot spot and spun out of control? So we'll see. Anyways, like I said, it looks it's looking like a rebuild on the motor, um, and that may take me in a different direction with different pistons and boring the block or, or something. Uh, I'll have to see. Um, I'll say this, if anyone on the channel has a spare 22RE block for uh, 89 through 95 that they want to sell, uh, please reach out to me. Email address is under the about section of my channel. Um, I, I would be interested in a block that has either been never been bored over or a block which is 20,000 sober but in good condition. So, anyways, digging in the motor. I'll pull the other three pistons out and see, see how they go. But I just want to put this update on the channel for anyone who had kind of been following along and was wondering how things uh, turned out on this particular piston. Okay, thanks for watching.